Hello. In this session, let us understand about the electric conductivity of metals. Metals are characterized by free electrons in partially filled bands or completely filled band overlap with the completely empty energy band in the bulk metals or conductors. The energy gap of conductor is zero. The resistivity which is reciprocal of conductivity is of the order of 10 to the power minus 6 ohm meter to 10 to the power minus 8 ohm meter for the conductors. Conductors always exist in the crystalline structure. There are some metals given here and with their respective resistivities. Assumptions of classical free electron theory. The classical free electron theory is also called the Drude model, which is based on classical physics concepts. The conductivity of the metal is studied on the basic basis of classical laws. According to the classical free electron theory, the metal contains large number of free electrons moving through the crystal. Those electrons are moving throughout the crystal due to the thermal agitation. And the system of these electrons are called electron gas because the behavior of electrons is just like the behavior of the gas molecules enclosed in the closed cylinder. Then second one is, second assumption is motion of electrons is random just like the real gas in the closed chamber motion of electrons inside the metal is random. Due to the random motion, the current goes to zero because we know that we get current only when electrons are moving in a particular direction. In the absence of electric field, the motion of electron goes random. Hence, we cannot expect the current throughout the conductor. But there is thermal conductivity. This uh, due to the, the, the thermal conductivity we have the mass of the electron into thermal velocity square of the thermal velocity is equal to 3 kT. In this equation, M is mass of electron, V, Th, width is the thermal velocity, K is the Boltzmann's constant and capital T is absolute temperature. And next assumption is the force of repulsion between the electrons and force of attraction between the electrons and lattice ions is ignored. The force of repulsion, we know that the electrons are having like charges and they always repel with each other. This force of repulsion is not considered, this is neglected. And another one force, the force of attraction between electrons and lattice ion, that is also ignored in case of classical free electron theory. The last one is the potential due to lattice ions is constant throughout the crystal. The one thing, the lattice ions here 
is the nuclei that is ions are called are nothing but the nuclei the nuclei are at the fixed position and electrons are moving throughout the matter while uh, these electrons moving throughout throughout the metal with a constant potential this is because all the lattice ions at fixed positions and so the total potential due to the lattice ion remain constant throughout the crystal hence the potential also sometime is ignored Just let us know the electric conductivity of metal which is derived using classical free electron theory. In this diagram consider the E is the electric field direction, direction at which electric field is applied. And by the application of electric field the current density that developed is J. And the L is the length through which electron traveled. Therefore, so small n, the number of electrons per unit volume is given by number of electrons divided by volume. We know that volume is given by length into A area of cross section. Therefore, n divided by L into A or it can be written as the total number of electron capital N is equal to small n L A. We know that current I is equal to charge divided by time Q divided by T Q divided by T and Q is given by the total number of electrons into charge and divided by T. So it can be written as it can be written as n l divided by t into a e because capital n is equal to n l a l divided by t distance traveled by electron per unit time that is considered as drift velocity what is this drift velocity Drift velocity is nothing but the motion of electron against the direction of field along with the scattering due to the lattice ions. The scattering is abstract the motion of electrons and in spite of that obstruction electron show some displacement against the direction of electric field. This type of displacement of electrons per unit time against the direction of electric field is called drift velocity. Therefore, this L is the, the displacement and T is time taken. Also we know that current density J equal to I by A and therefore so J is a VVD. And so it is known that drift velocity is E E to divided by M. And by substitution is that that VD and J changes to the equation N E square E to divided by M E. We also know that the electric conductivity is given by ratio of current density to the electric field. Substitute the value of J into that equation. Finally, we will get the electric conductivity sigma is equal to n e square to divided by m e. So that it is also shown here 
how the sigma is equal to j divided by e ratio and how the drift velocity given by e e to divided by m e. And we know that in many cases classical physics fail to explain certain things. Similarly, here also classical free electron theory failed to explain certain things like specific heat of solid. Specific heat of solid is Cv in specific heat at constant volume because by the application of heat, volume of the solid never change means change is negligible. This is Therefore, Cv the specific heat is equal to dE divided by dt. dE here is energy and d is absolute temperature. This is given by 3 by 2 nK because E is equal to 3 by 2 kT. Substitute 3 by 2 kT and differentiate That gives 3 by 2 nK. The value of this is 12.5 kilojoule per kilomole per Kelvin. Experiment shown. Cv is not this value but it is 100 times less than the above value. Therefore, the classical free electron theory failed to explain the specific heat. Next, the conductivity depends on absolute temperature. It is shown that by classical free electron theory, sigma is directly proportional to Sorry, sigma is inversely proportional to square root of temperature. But experience, experiments show that sigma is inversely proportional to T. Hence, here also to explain the electric conductivity, the classical free electron theory fails. And third one, the conductivity dependent on electron concentration. To explain the conductivity dependent on electron concentration. We know that according to the equations, sigma is equal to n e square 2 divided by m e. Sigma is directly proportional to n. But experiments show in many cases, sigma is inversely proportional to n. Even small n means number of electrons per unit volume decreases, the sigma increases. Thank you very much.